Kon Bonwa, good evening, Vault Dwellers. It is I, Logan and Mad Titan, and welcome to episode 47 of Fallout 76, Blind, Death, and Dumb. We pick up here in Nuka World on Tour for the third straight episode, but we're not going to be staying here. Not going to be staying here for very long at all. Honestly, as soon as it loaded up, <laughs> the music started to annoy me. Uh, so we're just gonna check out some stuff over here real quick. We got Zen0050. Looks like they're checking out what's in the chest over there. Hopefully they're adding something good. Maybe I can get something out of there. We got Alan Eagle over here. Do we have any loot bags around? Any, any things I can, uh, check out? Zen, you're taking a little, you're taking a while there. Buckaroo, are you just like a superhero? With a plague mask? Uh, no, that's not very exciting. Alright. What? We planned on doing. Oh god, I gotta get away from the robots. I still haven't bothered to look to see if I can make them stop. Just stop. Just stop talking. It's just... Too much for me sometimes. We were going to go to Vault 63, uh, but we were also going to run over here. Not here specifically, but I was like checking, checking these bags. Sometimes there's goodies in here. Not today. There's some lore up up, up over here, and I love me some lore related to. All right, there's an event eviction notice. So it's not a Nuka World on tour event. I find that somewhat questionable. Like when they rolled this out, it was like events every 15 minutes, and it was it was a blast. It was fun, and then it was like events every hour. And it's like okay, so I'd log in, you know, a couple times a day when it was like on the hour and take part in an event, and that was kind of fun. And then at some point in time, they switched to just events. I, you don't know. Surprise! All right. So up here in the trailers, this is Dell's Journal, July fifteenth, twenty seventy-seven. Honestly, if Claire and Derek leave their food out one more time, I'll collect all their dirty rubbish and scatter it all over their office desk. This is a medical facility, and hygiene should be of utmost importance. But that's not even the worst. The rides and attractions here are so poorly engineered. We keep having accidents and injuries. There is not a day that goes past where I don't have a crying kid sat in an infirmary with a laceration. We already had two fatalities too and I guarantee it won't take long for a third but nobody in my department seems to care that much about it. So I have left a hall tape for Brad Burton directly. Let's see what he's got to say. The only thing keeping me sane at this moment is my small allotment. At least there, I can take simple actions if something is growing out of control. Okay. Not sure what he was referring to that then. So, Brad Burton never got back to me directly, but Nuka World has offered me a new exciting role for their new Nuka World on tour. I would have to leave my allotment behind and travel the country, but I would be in charge of all things health and safety. Wouldn't that be something? I could finally tell my parents I've made it to a high-ranking position. The pay won't be the best, but they don't need to know that. Shh. I'm now the physician in charge of Nuka World on Tour, although my parents were still not very impressed with it. Said that being in charge of a tent in a theme park <laughs> wasn't a real medical profession. Maybe I should have just ignored them and pursued what truly makes me happy, but I guess it's a little too late now. I'll be setting off tomorrow and... I already got to meet some of the people who will be traveling with me. Randall and Muriel are the couple in charge at the main carnival and they seem alright. Hopefully we won't be dealing with as many injuries as Nuka World with me in charge of health and safety. Alright, so this is just really giving you a lot of backstory for the Dell character. Which, considering you don't do a lot with him, it's kind of silly, but I appreciate that they went through the lengths of, you know, really giving us, uh, his character some depth. I mean, he just stands in that trailer over there and 
acts as a vendor, basically. So we're getting a backstory on a vendor. Casual team. Uh, the world is a dreadful place. Just death and destruction. Guess this carnival needs more than... Guess this carnival needs me more than ever now with the world being such a dangerous place. They're lucky they got a professional medic in their group. Randall and Muriel didn't make it. I pity their kids, but there wasn't much I could do for their parents. My old allotment sounds like heaven now. I'm trying to figure out what he, what he means by allotment. Like, in this context. I'm not connecting the dots for some reason. What a lost soul Pete is. He can't cope without my prescriptions. Pat doesn't understand what it is. Doesn't understand that it is me, not what it is. I can read. Uh, who is keeping her brother alive. Pretty sure another balloon just popped. <laughs> uh, keeps sending me threats, but I won't listen. That boy needs his meds or he will be a threat not only to himself, but also others. Oh, that's interesting. Pat would really leave the, should really leave the medical stuff to me. I'm the doctor around her after all, and she has no idea how it all works. All right, so... That gives us more about Pete as well. Interesting. I'll try to read better, I promise. And I think there's a couple more notes to read. So hopefully I don't fumble, jumble, bumble my words too much. All right. Yeah, all right. So we got some psycho. So this is going to be Pete. Oh, we have multiple. Note to Pete. Pete's journal. Alright, so let's see what the note to Pete is first. Note to Pete. Dearest Pete, aren't I blessed to be taken in by such lovely people as yourself? I was wondering if you'd like to show me around the tunnel of love when it's set up. Come on, say yes, it'll be fun. Sunshine and smiles. Betty. Yeah, so Betty has a crush on Pete. Kind of got that idea already from talking to them. All right, so Pete's journal. Hopefully this will not be as long as Dell's journal, but this will give us some more of an idea of what's up with Pete. Apparently he's a junkie, uh, I guess. Pat's been trying to convince me that the medicine Dell gives me isn't good for me. She says stuff's bad for me and that I'll need a different outlet. Guess I should give it a try. I found uh, an old book a while back full of poems and stuff. I like reading them. Maybe I'll try writing my own. Long, cold, desolate, the winding road we travel. How long has it been? Taking the prescription Del gives me really helps me write this stuff. I don't think I want to show anyone yet. Better not tell Pat either. She's got enough to worry about without the terminal breaking and records being lost. Make you feel so small. You become a child once more, Daddy-o. The smaller you are, the higher you get. The higher you get, the more lonely you are. But I found comfort in my solitude, in my solitude. I found company in my monsters, and suddenly, my monsters started dancing. I might have gone too far this time. Pat is absolutely furious. I should, er, hang on, I'm going to be sick again. Bump, 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 the feeling in my chest. The slow rhythm beats. Won't let me rest. Bump, 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 the card's broken wheel. Do you hear it? Won't let me heal. Bump, 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 can feel my heart rate slowing. Mustn't let it go down. The fury keeps me going. I'm sick of raiders constantly disturbing our peace. We're out here trying to bring some joy and light to the wastelands, and we keep attracting selfish uh, bastards that kill our families and take our goods. Poor Chloe got a real battering. I had to update her program to get her back up and running, back to her usual self, popping all the balloons. A wasteland retake on Rosetti... On a Rossetti classic. Is it over? What is over? This old world now truly. The glory days my parents yearned for. Now the rad dust gathers newly. While our wagons travel duly. Is it finished? What is finished? We are finished. Known and unknown. Lives are finished. Time diminished. Abandoned fields are left unsown. In their place. Mutated crops grown. It suffices. What suffices? All suffices reckoned rightly we shall roam where roads entice us this new world's done naught but spite me and although the ash heap is unsightly our wagon waiting idly we carry on whatever the price is 
I saw something crazy big up on the hill behind the camp. I wanted to check it out, make sure we were safe here, but Pat doesn't believe me. Dell's thinking about increasing my prescription. I swear I'm not crazy. I just need a way to prove it. All right, so that ties into the, the quest that we did for uh, Pete, basically proving that the big mole monster thing that we fight is real. All right. I don't need to take his... Did I take Dell's, Dell's journal? I don't need to take it. Yeah, I don't. All right. This so this is what this is gonna be. Uh, Pat's journal. Some dirty water, and we got a computer that I can unlock. Okay. So Pat's journal. How much more? There's a lot of reading. So then this is bed. One of these is going to be Betty over here. What we got? A bed. And a be two beds. I don't know why there's two beds in here. Alright, so nothing. Wait. Alright, so there's something here. Angry Note. Alright, let's read Angry Note. That sounds fun. Dell, for the last time, stop feeding my brother those chems. You're a doctor, not a dealer. He doesn't need a fix. He needs help. I'm serious. Pat. All right, so yeah, Pat, it, Pete's got an addiction. Dell is giving him drugs. All right, so what is this? Gunther's journal. Gunther. Oh, the, okay, the uh, duh, the cowboy, the Wild Wild West guy. All right, um, all right, we're here. We'll do his, and then we'll go back and do Pat's. I'm tempted to try to do this in a ghoul voice the whole time, even though he doesn't have a ghoul voice, but I think that would get annoying after a while. Still think about Tabitha from time to time, but definitely want to forget those a-holes at the orphanage. Don't regret it, though. Not right treating a lady like that, especially Tabitha. Hmm, Tabitha is a name that already exists in Fallout lore, but pretty sure we're not referring to the same Tabitha. Uh, though he... Thought he could get away with saying that poop in front of me. What was he thinking? Bax got a few kinks from roughing it last night. Okay. I'm gonna have to find some permanent dig soon so I can't go back. Eight years. Don't regret it though. Punk got what he deserved. Nougat World. So can't believe they hired a bum like me. A traveling western show. Never did imagine my cowboy impressions would score a gig like this. I guess my old man getting me into... Binging old westerns weren't a waste of time after all. Still miss the old man and mom every time I watch the old films. So this is a new chapter. Good. Riddance to the orphanage. <laughs> I said good like it was a good thing. And didn't know riddance was going to be the next word. To the orphanage and about time I left Boston. Okay. So we have a reference uh, to a Tabitha, which makes me think of Fallout New Vegas. And then now a reference to Boston, which makes me think of Fallout 4. Alright, time to see the rest of this fine booty country and one day those dusty Texan dunes. Looking forward to teaching the kiddos how to be real little cowboys and cowgirls like my old man showed me. Lord knows, with all the fuss over the energy crisis, we need to break from all the doom and gloom. As I sit here waiting for the rumbling to stop, it's stupid, but all I can think about is that I never got to go to Texas. I wonder if there's even a Texas left to visit. That could be interesting, a fallout in Texas. So the commies actually did it. Saw the bombs from a distance, rushed into the sores to keep safe along with some other folk. In all the commotion, most scattered. No idea if they're safe and if there's a world above worth going back to. Got little Pat and Pete with me to worry about. I'm hoping their folks are hunkering down because last thing I'd want is for these kids to end up as orphans like me. We'll have to go out and look for them soon, I guess. Worst effing morning show I ever ran. Still regret going out after the bombs dropped. I thought losing my hair was bad enough, but my skin started to rot. Then my damn nose fell off. Yet death never came by some miracle or curse. Worse yet... Been seeing others like me crazed, damn zombies, ghouls, people call them. I never had to put some of those, I even had to put some of those poor mindless creatures down. Every time I do, I add a notch to my piece, wondering when I'll finally lose and become a notch for someone else. I often wonder if Muriel and Randall would have gone that way if their time was not cut short. 
The kids help keep my mind off of it, though, and we've been focusing on altering the attractions and keeping the fair going. Pete's become a whiz at mechanics like his old man, been helping me tweak and set up the Wild West Showdown attraction. He struggles sometimes with the lifestyle in this new world, and I can't blame him, so Dell has been keeping an eye on him for us and prescribing him Ken's to help him cope. As for Pat, real determined that one, like her mom's. She had to grow up real fast due to what happened to her folks. Heck, after the camp got raided some time back, morale was real low, and she was the only thing that kept us going, even when some quit. I think it's because the carnival is all she's ever known, and she keeps it going in memory of her folks. Got her to jot down her thoughts in a journal a bit back so she could process it all. Seems to be doing the trick. Lord knows it helps me. Carnival life ain't perfect these days, but I'll keep them safe. I owe... Mira Randall that much. After all, love them kids. They're like my own. And they never treated me any different, even after I lost my sniffer. Man, I thought that was going to be the end or still more. Alright, <laughs> this kid is going to be the end of me. Looks like he took a few too many chems and nearly overdosed. Pat came pounding on my trailer last night when she found him zonked out. Dell fixed him back up, but I'll have to have a word with him about those prescriptions in the morning. Don't think the boy wants to end it. Probably just messed up the dose. He needs to learn his limits, I guess. Because if it's wild wasteland, don't get him. Those chems might. Though looking at his work, the results help you overlook the character flaw. The attractions are in tip-top shape, and we've even reprogrammed the bots we found to do all sorts of antics. Boy's a genius with a bad habit. And I don't mean the poetry. Depression is a hard thing to kick. Took me a spell to kick mine before Nuka World. We'll just have to find him something or someone to change his tune. Yeah, he didn't seem too interested in uh, Betty, though, when we talked to him about that. Came across many folk like myself over the years, but none who were born after the bombs dropped. Betty is her name, and she was pretty worn down when we met her. Needed her... Affliction explained and told it's not a curse. Being in goal for nearly 30 years, I could say despite the rough skin and looks, I'm not feeling so bad for someone in their 60s, and the rads don't bother me no more. She's become a fine addition to the family. We've been helping her adjust. Got her one of the old show wigs and gave her a job at the fair. It's also looking like she might have a thing for my Pete. Lucky kid, maybe she'll be the one to help him kick his old habits. Apparently, I have a visitor while I'm reading. We've been <laughs> settling just outside Lewisburg for a spell. The Ashy people are calling it. Not my first choice of spot, but we are revisiting the old show tour stops. Been setting up all the attractions for the past few days, all good and running, except for the Nuka launcher. Pete's having some issues with it in some for some time now. Starting to think he's skipping work and getting hopped up on chems again, hoping Betty will keep an eye on him for us and help change his tune. Woo, that was a lot. I hope Pat's isn't as long. Alright, who was my visitor? Oh, Zen. Hey, Zen. Zen's cooking. I read the angry note. Super Zen 0050. Alright, so the only one we got left is uh, Pat's journal, right? Which was up here in this trailer over here. Oh, wait, there's another note. This one is Betty's. Betty, Betty's not protecting her journal very well. She just left it out open to the elements. Woo! Papa is mad at me again. I don't even know what I did wrong. I don't think I did anything wrong. I think for him I do everything wrong because mom didn't make it when I joined this world. I wonder what mom was like. I wonder if papa would have been kinder to me if we all would have been together or she would have protected me or she would have been on his side. I wonder if I am anything like her. I think papa is just sad. Sad to have lost her. He blames me every day but I didn't get a choice. If I did, I would have gone instead. That's sad. Today I made Papa happy. He joined Mom today. I served him his last supper. He didn't even finish it. Had five miles full of it and then just drifted off. I told him I loved him and that I hope he'll be happy together with Mom. It, it won't make too much of a difference to me. I was already lonely. Maybe now I can go and find myself my own family. Okay. Maybe being alone is a little tougher than I thought it would be, but I don't want to let this drag me down. I've been going out scavenging in the areas Papa told me not to. See what I can find beyond our little camp. I found uh, all sorts of cool stuff, like more comics from before the times. Oh, how I wish I was born then. I don't know what's happening to me. All my hair has been slowly falling out, and I've been getting rashes on my skin. 
I've not been feeling quite right either. Maybe I'm being punished. I think I'm dying. I came across some other people the other day and they started throwing things at me and shouting, you ugly ghoul. So even if I'm not dying, who will fall in love with me looking like this? Oh, today's the happiest day of my life. I found this traveling carnival setting up near Lewisburg and they took me in. I'm finally going to travel the country and hopefully I'll find a spot that is close to what the world used to be before the bombs dropped. I've read so much about it, the world before the war. It looked so nice. Just imagine being able to go for a walk and not having to kill rad roaches or be chased by a death claw. Oh, what I would give to have lived then, have my own little family, husband and two beautiful children. Can, can ghouls? Ghouls have children? I don't. I'm not. I don't know. I don't know what the lore is on that. Uh, I would think no. I would be cooking them the best food in our fabulous bright kitchen pie, and the windowsills filling the house with a sweet smell. I would have never turned into this thing either. Kept my beautiful hair. Maybe I can still find something like this now. Maybe with this carnival. They seem very accepting, and I'm not the only ghoul around. Yeah, because there's uh, Gunther. Pat assigned me to one of the stalls today, selling goods to visitors. Oh, I'm so excited. I'll do my very best to not disappoint Pat. Her brother Pete is also very nice. Bit strange at times, but oh my, he's so cute. He tells the best stories. I hope to get to know him better soon. Dell can be a little grumpy, but I just have to infect him with my positivity. I'm pretty sure he's a good guy. Underneath his hard shell and Gunther. Oh, I love him already. So good to get to know another ghoul. He explained me all about our condition and it made me feel less bad about my parents and accepting myself for who I am. He even found me an old wig and gave it to me. It's so pretty. Seeing another human alive and well after turning into a ghoul gives me hope. I'm so excited to become part of their family. Finally I have something to look forward to in my future. Alright, well that was sweet. My Radaway uh, wore off. I don't remember taking Radaway. Alright, so hey, I almost missed Betty's. And then Pat's was in here. And I think this is the... Well, we have the computer, too. Let's do the computer real quick. Pat's log. Medical records. Ingredients. Requests. Dell's request. Running low on some essential supplies so we can make some more, but I'll need some ingredients. See if the gathering team can find any stim packs, blood packs, antibiotics, red X, or disease cures. If not, I'll need to pick up some ingredients so I can make them here. Okay, it sound, almost sounds like that Dell would have a quest, but as far as I know, Dell does not have a quest. Medical records. Oh, okay. That's a lot of medical records, and for a lot of people, names we don't recognize. Alright, so this was the mom. Gunshot wounds from attack while traveling. Attempted to treat with surgery. Patient passed. Randall, the dad. Gunshot wounds. He passed before they came to start treatment. Alfie... Sprained ankle, splint and bed rest. They recovered, but I don't know who Alfie is. Pierce. They lose Stimpak and insect repellent. Patient discharged before Carnival moved on. Maybe these are just uh, visitors to the park. Gunther. Laser burns. Healing solve. Recovered still smart ass. <laughs> Morris. Alright. I'm not going to keep reading these unless they're interesting because we don't even know who Morris is. Lucy. Pete? Alright, this is Pete. Electrical burns. Stimpak and Medex. Sass recovered but under medical supervision. Kid needs continued treatment. Started him on a prescription despite Pat's protest. What does she know about medicine? Ashley. Or Ashley. Myra. Okay. Lou. Michael. Well, Michael didn't make it. Sorry, Michael. Carlos. Oh, yeah, he didn't. He didn't make it through the Deathclaw attack either. Oh, dang it! There was one more thing. Pat's log. Oh boy, setting up shop. Finally found a spot we can stop and set up. The place is a dump, but it's next to a town, and there are these filters. Pete says he can 
fix up to keep the air clean around us. Sent a group to the town nearby to see what was there. Place looked abandoned. No one but feral ghouls. Found a load of useful material, though. Old cars, marquees, and stuff looked like maybe there was going to be a parade before the bombs fell. I'll make a list and send the gatherers back out. Always on the lookout for spare parts and old scrap. Yeah, it makes it seem like the second time we referred to, like, gatherers, that there was maybe supposed to be some other NPCs, maybe some other like unnamed NPCs that were here, but there isn't. So I don't know what happened with that. Takings. A uh, broken terminal. Terminal got smashed in a raider attack. Had Pete fix it up and lost some of records. Looks like I'll have to start again from scratch. Uh, 2100. Alright, so this is financial. Yeah, takings. Okay, I get it now. Yeah, financial stuff. That's Probably not super interesting, honestly. Uh, staff jobs list. All right, so this is going to have some names. Do we recognize any of these names besides the people that we know? Yeah, Carlos and Michael passed. All right, and then like Alfie was on that other list, and he's missing. Charlotte Yu and Francis Yu, they're missing. Um... Some people are listed as hunting. Some people are listed as out for supply runs. So yeah, there definitely was other people. So I wonder if they actually exist and you can bump into them. Or they just didn't actually make it into the game or not. That's interesting. Okay. To-do list. Pete, to finish setting up the coaster, look into getting parts for air filters. I helped him with that. Uh, gatherers to find ingredients for Dell. Hunters to prep their catches. Find out whose right idea was to set up the Wild West mural right in front of our camps. <laughs> Lookout point. Uh, look into capturing critters for a petting zoo? Question mark? That sounds like a terrible idea. Visitors. All right, got an unusual visitor today. Old lady from across the river further north. She said that she had a sickness in the area and they managed to make a vaccine. Oh, so the, uh, the vault, my vault overseer gave me a crate of Nuka-Cola with a new label. Nuka-Cola vaccinated. Nuka-Cola, it's got my blood in it. That explains those weird statues near Lewisburg. I wouldn't have believed her if we didn't see one of those petrified scorches scorched ourselves. I'm glad for the help, to be honest. Always good to see there are still people out there who help each other. All right, so that's cool. That ties everything back to, you know, the main story. I'm going to take that fan for screws. I've been reading for so long, it's it's gone from daytime to nighttime. Sorry if reading is not super interesting. I mean, you know, theoretically, you probably, if you're playing this, maybe you've al already read all this. But this, I guess, is, you know, a way for people who maybe have not read all this to hear all the lore. Um, or you can fast forward, obviously. There'll be some action, I promise. Uh, Dear Diary, is that how I start a diary? I don't know how you do this sort of thing. Gunther said it would be good for me to get some feelings down to process the grief, he said. I don't even know how to process. How do you process something you can't hold? Anyway, he's the adult. I trust him to know what he's talking about. Although, am I the adult now too? I thought we were lucky that Mom, Pops, Pete, and me all survived the bombs but now it's just pete and me i'm responsible for him now and for the carnival gunther is wrong this isn't helping at all i just feel angrier now bye it's been a minute since mom pops passed but i still miss them every day but at least i got pete he's phone girl adult now setting up the attractions repairing all sorts he worries me though he never quite gotten over the fact that mom pops are gone he is such a sweet soul i don't think this new world is for him but he'll battle through it i'm sure just Gotta make sure I'm there for him. We've been traveling around much, keeping the carnival going, making some caps here and there. We've lost so many along the way, it's not always easy to keep strong. Sometimes I don't see the reason to keep going with it all, but then I remember Mom Pops, and I continue for them. I swear I'm going to kill that idiot, Dell. I found Pete in a ditch today, absolutely pumped on daddy -O again. He's going to die one day, Dell keeps giving him these chems. He is wrong. They absolutely do not help him. I question myself why I keep letting him be a part of the carnival. I'll have a chat with Gunther later to get his opinion. I know Pete is not a child anymore, but 
He sure doesn't act like a grown-up. I don't know how I'll ever be able to trust him to look after himself. I need to keep him safe. He is the last of my family. We attacked again and lost a few of our group. They all scattered into different directions trying to get away. I'm not sure they all made it, but I sure hope they will all make it their way back to us. We're just going to keep setting up around the ash heap, hoping they'll see our attractions and come join us again. It's not that easy. It all set up, getting it all set up without the missing workforce, but I've managed before we'll manage again and who knows maybe we'll have a few new travelers join us okay so that felt feels like there they kind of left the door somewhat open for the possibility of those some of those other characters that were missing or the gatherers to come and rejoin maybe not sure oh i'm very thirsty in real life and in the game so let's have some food and drink what we got? Some hot dogs? Hot dog, hot dog, hot diggity dog. I don't have I don't have kids. I don't know what you're talking about. Let's have some some caffeine going. Okay. Ah, ah. Delicious. Alright, so I wanted to try to get to Vault 63, which I'm facing the absolute wrong direction to do that. Because we found that in the previous episode, but I didn't get a chance to explore it. And that all right that's close anytime we find a vault I'm super interested because it's a vault so maybe maybe there's this is a waste of time and there's actually nothing we can do there but I figure it's worth taking a peek yeah no maybe so I'm definitely interested. Oh. Did somebody shoot down one of those things? There's one of those smoke. The red smoke that normally means that, uh... Somebody shot down one of the drones or whatever. I will try to scope that out. Half the time when I find these, they've, uh... Alright, so we got some bracket shovel. Somebody's nearby. There's nothing good there, but still worth taking a peek at least. This looks uh ghouly. Don't see anybody moving around in there though. Do we have a clear path to this? Alright, robots are there. But honestly. Alright, there's an iBot too. iBot's not a problem. As long as he sit still all right and we know with these guys if we shoot off their arms that they're normally not a problem continuing search for fugitive just blow up all right cool so he blew up and we'll get over to the crate and there won't be anything interesting but Hey, got some XP for taking out some dudes. I don't know who shot this down. Oh, there's some stuff in here. Nothing super exciting, but I'll take it. Okay. I'm so glad I finally caught up with you. Congratulations! He scared the bejesus Today out of me. Today is your lucky day. It you is. Won the great Appalachian sweepstakes. I did. This wonderful prize is yours. What is it? Notice, we've updated our privacy policy. As a monthly prize winner, your name, likeness, and other personal information may be used for publication without your consent. Have a wonderful day. Okay. You too. Congratulations. All right. Shh. Quiet now. All right. So we're not that far away from the vault. Yeah, this is where we had to come for Pete's mission, and it looks like there's some ghouls over there. They were all dead. I didn't have to kill them last time, so I'm not going to mess with them. Here's some gunshots in the distance. Oh, it's actually over here. There was mole miners here when I was here. Is mole miners and ghouls fighting each other? Is that, is that what's happening? I'll clean up the scraps.
Yep, more miners. Really should have reloaded. That would have been a smarter way to handle that situation. Yeah, you guys shoot at me from shotguns all the way over there. Good plan. Good, good, good plan. Oh, there's still ghouls, too. Is he coming? I still have two blips. They didn't, neither one of them took each other out? I guess I have this cool gun. What's up, buddy? <laughs> yeah, boy. All right, cool. Some caps. It almost looks like I know what I'm doing. I'll take some Radaways. And a STEMI. Alright. Cool. Now let's go check out Vault 63. I've heard absolutely nothing about... Oh, where did you come from? Is this gun, like, way better than I thought it was? Did I just kill him with one shot? Okay. I, I, as far as I could tell, I just killed that ghoul with one shot. Yeah, I used the scripts or whatever those things are called. And I, uh, uh... This is what I got. Now, I already had a gun like this, but this one seemed like it was it was better. At least I... I, I think it's better. It's, uh... It says it's a two-shot, but it has some other things in it. Because I had... I put the other one away. For carrying capacity reasons. So now I have two guns that look this are similar, but that one seemed to be significantly, I mean, d did more damage. It had a faster reload, which that in itself seemed to make it uh, vastly superior. So I can actually, you know, reload without taking forever. All right. So we came here before and we didn't actually go in. I want to actually go in this time. There's a house over there. And we got some <clears throat> music. I don't know what just hurt me. Remember, ladies, just because Bing Crosby tells you to put down the gun doesn't mean you have to. Yeah, ladies. Where is this music well, coming from? Might not be okay. So, Vol 63 entrance. Yeah, I went this far. We get a loading screen. I mean, we got lights. This makes me think that we can go in. There was nothing hostile. Nothing hostile here. So I don't feel like I need to... be on my guard. I have no idea what uh, this would be, though. Baseball grenade. I have so many plasma grenades now. I don't. I've not been picking up baseball grenades anymore. Okay, so let's see if we can get in here. All right, so it requires an ID card that I don't have. Welcome letter. This is Vault 63 access terminal. Only authorized personnel are permitted to be on this point. Have a nice day. That that did not give me enough information. Oh. Okay, so we're not. I thought maybe making me a quest or something. Thank you for visiting Vault 63. Only authorized personnel are permitted beyond this point. So, this is going to be a mystery to me. Because I don't have. I don't have the ID card. And there's not really any clues here. 
I mean, I just found this on accident, basically. So I don't know. I don't know if we could actually do it. Do anything with this. Okay. Well, that was a waste. Luckily, it wasn't that far away. So while we're safe in here, we need to figure out if we're not messing around with Nuka World stuff, Nuka World on tour, what are we going to get back to doing? Because we still have a lot to do. But we got distracted with the Nuka World update coming out. Uh, I need to craft explosive bait, a favorite tool of Travers. Oh, I don't even remember what that's for. It's a main quest. I should help Jen look for the signs of her mother in the deep. Explore the deep. This is what we were working on. So let's go back to that. That sounded like it was going to have something to do with a stealth suit, but I have a feeling we're not going to be able to wear the stealth suit. Only Jen is going to be able to wear the stealth suit. But I would love having a stealth suit. Since my build is still sneaky snipery, even though that, uh, whatever this thing is, this, clearly not sneaky snipery. That's more of like run up and shooty. Alright, so we're going to go to White Springs. White Spring. I always want to say Springs. That's Lewisburg. Yeah, I've, a couple times I've logged in, in a, to do a video and there's been nukes. And even if I server jump, there's still nukes there. Alright, White Spring is over here. I don't want to go into it. Where I'm going is... Why is it not giving me speak with Skippy? Who? Who is Skippy? Why is it not? I'm confused. Why is it not giving me the explore the, the deep? That was like over here somewhere. It was it was in the golf course. At White Spring. Right? If that's not where I'm going, then I'm super confused where I'm going. Because that's where I was going before. What is this? Attention, uh -oh. citizens. Nuclear strike imminent. Where? Please exit the area at where? your earliest convenience. All right, not where I am. Thank you for your cooperation. Are we over there? Okay. Now I must be mixing this up, cause yeah, this this clearly is not the mission I'm thinking it is. Kill, it. but this sounds like it. I'm so confused. Where does that have me going, though? Alright, that... Doesn't seem right to me, like, at all. But honestly, we're not that far away from there. So... I guess... We'll head in that direction. Even though... That doesn't seem right to me. <coughs> Ow. Oh, it's the ground that's burning me? Yeah, I'm walking through fire. I guess walking through fire would would hurt. Alright, no bracket shovel, so I guess that house was empty. Alright, well on the bright side we're not far away from there, but I am very confused because... So I guess that would be three episodes back when we were going to go underground we followed the liberator and the liberator brought us to like the seventh hole on the golf course or something like that and then we were going to go down in there and uh the nuka world came out so we got sidetracked and started doing nuka world stuff And now it's saying it's 
all the way down over here past past some mountains or something. Okay. Alright, some gunfire. I'd, I'd like to get here without... Uh... Alright, sounds like I'm walking right towards the gunfire. Oh, okay. There's somebody right there. He shot a... What now? What did he just shoot? Huh. I need some new clothes. I'm getting real muddy. Alright, so he is a... Scavenger. Level 60 scavenger. Speaking of level 60, so I'm level 61 now. Scorch Beast Queen. Yeah, I I don't I don't know about doing Scorch Beast Queen stuff. I uh, was super confused that there's no level 60 armor. Cause up to level so level 50 was a big level. Like like they, there's no more perk cards after level 50. There's no new armor after level 50. So, I guess at that point they just expect you to be finding good legendary armor? Because I thought I was going to make myself some armor, some new armor, but um, now I'm still just using the level 50 armor. So, like, when I'm level 100, I'm still going to be using level 50 armor? That seems odd to me. But unless I'm missing something, I went to the workbench and I just wanted to make a newer version of what I had on. I have plenty of materials. And there was nothing above level 50. It was like level 50 and that's it. I said there would be action. And like, I did. I, that's one of the reasons why I gauged those mole miners and the ghouls. So that way, at least I killed something because... Uh, Sometimes when I take my little trips through the forest, there's not much happening. And that's that's what we got here. Not much happening. Man, Scorch Beast is done already. They tore that Scorch Beast up. Maybe I should have went. Sounds like it would have kind of been a waste. I would have got there and it would have been over. <laughs> So what I like about that one uh, Nuka World event, where the one where the big mole dude comes out the ground, that one's it takes a little bit of time. And it's fun. You run over my chainsaw and just cut through it, glitch inside of it, inside its innards and guts. All right, so how close are we? All right, we might have mountain problems. Well, I'm not seeing a mountain in front of me. On the map, it looks like there's gonna be mountain problems. So I might need to do uh, my famous uh, mountain climbing. The thing that has killed me more than anything else since I've been playing 76 is trying to get down off of mountains after I've put myself up on top of mountains. And yes, it definitely looks like... The heck? Alright, I've gotten a couple other treasure maps. Not off random dead bodies. But I've gotten a couple other treasure maps. And I've not really done anything with them. I tried to do one where it was like, it had a description. And I was trying to follow the description and just failing miserably at finding... Whatever I was supposed to be finding. Whatever the treasure was supposed to be. Alright, we gotta be getting close, no? Yeah, we're on the mountains. And again, I don't see anything above me, so I must be on the top of the mountains. We got a fence. For no reason. I've had no bracket shuffles. Very quiet part of the mountains up here. This is the type of like situation where I'll randomly run into Mothman.
you would think this would be where you'd run into some of the other ones like sheep squatch but uh, like when I've seen sheep squatch it's been like on the road all right so I am very close but again I have a feeling I'm going to be way above where I need to be and then I'm gonna have to try to figure out how to get down without dying which again I've failed at miserably repeatedly all right so yeah it wants me to go there and um well yep that's a lot of death so maybe this way I mean there's nobody around so I feel like I don't need to sneak Is there a way down here a little bit? I mean, it's right down there. I, sw I, I don't know what's right down there, because that's definitely not where I was heading previously. All right, can I keep going down? Yeah, okay, we got... All right, let's go back to sneaking for a second just to make sure. All right, we're pretty close. It looks like I can fall down here. And... Yeah. So, definitely not been... Out here in the middle of nowhere. Explore the deep. Um... Uh, <laughs> uh Excuse me? That's uh I can't explore that. That's 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 the, that's the ground. Okay. So Yeah. That seems bugged so let's go back to well that's gonna cost me 14 caps I want to be outside so we'll go back to White Spring because that's where I remember th it being not where it just totally made me take a completely wasted trip to go to can the quest marker update and make sense now yeah. What was that? Oh my god. Well. The grounds are looking splendid this year. Yeah, the grounds are looking splendid. Okay, is this Deathclaw going to be over here that's over here all the time? Or am I going to be able to actually go where I want to go? Does anybody see it? Half the time I try to, like, seriously. Sentry bot, save me! Threat analysis, yellow. Beginning lethal force neutralization operation. Attention, hostile target. Threat analysis, okay, so green. Sure. Security operation so long successful. That that Resuming right? normal operation. Thanks, guys. Security operation in progress. Treated cushion in the leather right leg. Yeah, I'll take the gears though. I know it was way back. Okay. But I'm glad they Sorry, to robots. Somewhere safe. If they'd stop no, randomly putting a death claw right in my direct path, then I wouldn't I wouldn't have to do that. I was actually doing quite well. If I think I had switched over to the other gun, then I would have been able to take him out on my own. But I figure, you know, the robots are there. Let's just use the robots. 
Now, honestly, I would love to just be able to run over there. But that might be a terrible idea. Let's get my AP back. And... On the count of three. One, two, three, go. All right, there's some deer over there. They shouldn't really cause a problem. Go, 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 go. All right, there's a sentry bot, so if I need some backup, I can go over to him. He will help me out. Whoa, why is there like... All right, mole miners versus assaultrons. Mole, assaultrons have to have this, right? Why am I in caution? I'm just helping out. I'm on your side. Good job, guys. Nice teamwork. Nothing even remotely useful to me. The White Spring is under our protection. I know, but you didn't even kill everybody. Yo! What the... Coming at me with a missile launcher? What is happening? <laughs> how did that? How was that even a thing? With a missile launcher. Oh my god. I'm just trying to get to the... <laughs> I almost died. Ready to let... The he just walks up to me with a missile launcher and shoots me right in the face. Come on now. Can I just get into this place? This is, this is pretty much the same issue we had last time. I think I'm out of time. So by the time I got here, yeah. With all the nonsense and shenanigans. If I go in here, it's not going to save me in here. I'm going in. I just want to see what, at least see the beginning of this. The deep. The Deep is a character in the show The Boys. <laughs> I mean, it's making it seem like it's not far away, but I don't I don't trust that for a second. And what's going to be in here? Mole miners? Fever Blossom. I don't know. They look cool, but I don't know if they're useful. What are you? Light bulb plants? All right, we can go this. Oh, okay. 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 Cave crickets. Cave crickets. Um, I fought cave crickets in Fault New Vegas. What is happening? What? What is happening? All right, I'm leaving. <laughs> All right, so we got cave crickets, we got uh, infiltrators, right? How do I get out of here? Okay, so we have an idea. This is 100% what we are going to start off doing in episode 48. If you made it with me this far into the video, oh my god, what is, why? Why do I come out and they're scorched? Your worthless hide is mine! Why? Why do I come out and they're scorched? And almost everybody's dead from from the mole miners. Alright, this is like a spawn area or something. I'm trying to do my outro here. Jesus. Alright. <laughs> 
Oh, I wanted to give a shout out to a new subscriber, Diecast2000. Thank you so much. I don't know which series you watch, so I'm going to give you a shout out in each of my series. Uh, as I started to say, if you made it with me this far into the video, I greatly appreciate it more than you ever know. Uh, if you subscribe and would like a shout out, let me know, or occasionally, every once in a blue moon, YouTube does let me know, which is how I know that Diecast is a new uh, subscriber. I will just give you a uh, shout out myself. Uh, with all that being said, I bid you adieu, goodbye, and good night, Vault Dwellers. Thank you so much for watching.